All right, welcome everybody out. Um, tonight we're going to talk about arthritis and support and um, natural solutions you can we can you have for arthritis. And obviously, we're going to talk most about essential oils. Um, now, what we're going to talk about is um, essential oils you can use to support your joints and muscles and everything. Um, so we're not representing this as you know a making claims that this is going to cure arthritis, but absolutely essential oils can help to support those body systems that are dependent on arthritis. I think in the past, a lot of people have been um, kind of scared to talk about a disease um, because there's only certain claims we're allowed to make um, as regulated by the uh, FDA and FT FCC. Um, and, and we are basically talking about essential oils and how they can support your body system and, and really, you know, um, make you healthier. And so, yeah, and your body is what uh, heals you. So, so that's the topic for mm -hmm. tonight is arthritis. We have a lot of people that, um, you know, need some solutions and, and some, mm -hmm. some guidance in this area. And so, speaking from personal response, uh, experience. personal experience, experience of others, people we've mm -hmm. helped. Yes. Jay's been doing this for uh, years and years, and she's going to um, share with us um, yeah. all her knowledge about essential oils and arthritis. So, turn the time over to Jay. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I'm not claiming to be an expert on arthritis or anything, but uh, I just want to share with you what I do know, and you can take it um, and then run with it, whatever that information is. Uh, so I was younger, over 10 years ago, actually I was diagnosed with arthritis in my spine. And um, I had a form of arthritis in my, my hands. And, you know, it's very funny because I couldn't lift a bag of groceries without hurting my back and my, in my hands. And, um, you know, it's, it's the painkillers weren't doing much and uh, it was miserable. It was really hard for her husband and how to lift all those groceries. Oh, the workout, that well, was so good. We have an essential oil for him. To <laughs> heal from that <laughs> trauma, right? <laughs> so I knew that my body knew, uh, know how to heal. I knew that. But I didn't know how, how to fix this. And the word arthritis was, it seemed big and scary and mysterious. Um, and, you know, I thought, you know, I didn't want to feel like, you know, this is it and I'm just going to get worse as I get older. Uh, but no, that wasn't the case at all. And to, um, you know, it's a great message that I'm sharing with people because you have hope. In my mind, I thought, oh boy, you know, that we've tried everything and uh, it's just downhill from here. So it's kind of miserable, but uh, I just want to share with you that there is hope. Um, and then, you know, you don't have to be suffering so much. You can support your body. So, you know, I used to roll off the bed and land on the floor. And since I'm down there, I might as well say my prayers. And then I slowly pull myself up. You know, in the morning, if I wake up um, in a wrong position, you know, my, my hands are stiff and I can't make a fist. And it was just uh, really in the way of enjoying my life. So uh, when I discovered what arthritis was and what I can do for, to support my body, it just made so much sense and um, you know within six months or so of doing essential oils and herbs and supplements you know my body was able to recover from that and it's several years of um, that suffering and uh, I ended up uh, having you know a healthier body so I'll share with you what I did and uh, you can take that and uh, see what it can do for you so, of course, arthritis is a painful inflammation and stiffness in the joints. And anyone of any age can have some form of arthritis, okay? So it doesn't have to be exclusive to a certain group of people. But I believe that when we take care of the root causes, okay, we can help eliminate some of the symptoms. And, of course, if the symptoms are no longer there, arthritis can be reversed. And I've read articles and things, and they say it's, you know, reversible. And books. And books. Okay, so I have a book here that I want to share with you later on. But it's not a mystery. It's not something big and scary that uh, you can't understand. It's actually not that bad at all. Okay, so there's many things that you can do. So I want you to know that you don't have to give up and um, accept the situation. 
So there's actually over 100 different types of arthritis and related conditions. So if you see this book here, okay, that's one book that you can um, look at. But I'll tell you this, it's just a lot of the same things over and over, page after page after page. And they just break it down to different um, different types of arthritis. But I'm telling you, it's almost the same things. But let me uh, share with you what I know here. So these are some common ones. The degenerative arthritis, which is osteo um, arthritis. Okay. And um, there's the inflammatory arthritis, which is rheumatoid and a fibromyalgia. Okay, so lots and lots of people we know have that, don't we? Okay, and then they think, no, I just have this. But if you understand it in its bigger context, it's inflammation, okay? And that will help you figure out what to do to support your body system. Okay, and there's infectious arthritis too. Okay, so I met a lady who said that her doctor said she has migratory arthritis. So it's one, one day it's here, one day it's there, and it keeps moving around in the body. Lyme's disease is a form of infectious arthritis. So we have bacteria, fungus, and other infections in our joints. Um, infections from food, perhaps salmonella, um, you know, infections from other things like gonorrhea, uh, chlamydia, all those things. Um, it can be under that category. Um, there's metabolic arthritis, and I didn't even know this existed, but it made sense now that I've researched it. Uh, uric acid overproduction. Uh, so, you know, we can have sudden spikes of extreme joint pain or, you know, gout attacks. So that's a form of arthritis. I had no idea, but I knew this. Lupus is a form of arthritis, inflammation, pain, and damage in various parts of the body. And inflammation caused by lupus can affect different body systems, including your skin. You know, of course, it's your joint, but kidneys, blood cells, brain, heart, and lungs. So, you know, in all in all, it's about inflammation. Okay, so I'm going to pause here. We have several nurses on our call. You know, if you guys want to butt in and help out, go ahead. Okay, don't feel like you have to, but if you want to. Does anyone want to add to this? All right, no worries. We can keep going. All righty. So, um, what can we do to support our body? And, you know, people will ask me, I have this particular problem, and I will say to them, hey, that's an inflammation concern, right? So what do we do for inflammation? We help support the cells, okay? In, you know, inflammation, again, for those who haven't been on our call, it's a natural response of our body, okay? You know, to us, inflammation means pain. But our body uh, uses inflammatory response to encourage our uh, more blood supply into a certain area and repair, encourage healing and repair in certain areas of our body. But when it becomes chronic inflammation, right, our cells can break down and our tissues can break down and that's when we have this consistent and constant problem that we need to take care of. Okay, so that's um, what the inflammation is about. So what can we do? I always suggest to clean out your cells so your cells can communicate effectively, right? We have the wonderful 30-day cleanse that we encourage people to do on a regular basis to keep your cell receptors clean, um, keep the toxins in check so your body is not having a huge toxic load. Um, when we have a lot of toxic load, it's just too much for your body to handle and, of course, your body is going to break down and um, you know, miscommunicate, the cells will miscommunicate. So detoxifying your body is very critical to clean out the viruses, the infections, the candidas, the parasites inside your cells. And sometimes on the outside we may feel fine, um, but uh, you know, there's a few signs um, that you can look for to help you know that it's time to do another cleanse. Um, one really easy sign is just feeling bloated, um, feeling like you have brain fog, you're not thinking clearly, of course, aches and pains and um, joint concerns. You know, that's another clue, of course, bad breath. Um, and, you know, going to the bathroom lots of times at nighttime instead of sleeping all the way through. So your organs are telling you that it's, they're unhappy, okay? 
So that's, uh, those are good clues for you to know that, hey, it's time to, to do the cleanse again. And we have a link here um, to help you uh, get some support and more information about the 30-day cleanse. And in fact, you can actually, oh, Ben's pulling it up, thank you. Um, actually, just join our email um, here and we will email you every day to help you um, remember what, um, oils or supplements to use so it can support you during your 30 day cleanse okay so it's just jbaldencom forward slash cleanse all right so if you want to go there okay so that's part of um helping your cells but the other side of it is feeding your cells because when your cells are clean that's great but your cells need food and fuel so we need to give our body the right amount of food with some um, natural uh, omega fatty acids and um, the macronutrients. And the micronutrients, um, of course, comes from our food, but we want to supplement it with a, the Lifelong Vitality Pack because it, you know, it's got wonderful food-based supplements to supplement your vitamins and minerals and um, omega fatty acids. So we have um, to feed our cells, to give the cells the proper... Um, building blocks and tools it needs to function optimally. A lot of our health problems is actually a, a nutritional deficiency problem. And we will find that a lot of our, our problems go away when we actually feed ourselves. I felt like with uh, me, um, I felt like something, my body was missing something. And for the first six months of using supplements, it was sort of like a, a water to a desert you know i was so hungry for it <clears throat> and my body was just absorbing it and just using it up and left and right things were happening inside my body and it was awesome so if you guys are not on the lifelong vitality pack um, i suggest you try it for the first six, uh, 30 days to 60 days and this is what it looks like it's got there's three um supplements here vitamins and minerals omega blend and this is fantastic omega blend it's like red uh, so um and it's very small in molecular size so that your body's going to be able to absorb it better than you know regular fish oil it's a blend of different plant-based and marine-based oils and essential oils too and of course we have the alpha crs which is great for cell um health which is an herbal complex mm -hmm. yep so anybody here want to say anything about the Lifelong Vitality Pack? This is Erin. I have a brand new computer. I have a brand new computer. <laughs> so I don't know how to use the volume yet. Anyways, the scientist was telling us that 200, I'm sorry, I'm getting so much feedback. So, Aaron, and you and Mark are in the same place. Maybe one of you can turn off the volume. Is this better? Yep. Okay. So, when the scientist was talking to us at our conference in PA, she was telling us that from our carbon copies that they've taken from people that were more like nomads, they were eating 200 different types of species of vegetables a day. How many do you think we get in our diet now? Six. <laughs> yeah. If we're lucky. And if we're lucky. And the whole nation eats the same six. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we have so much inflammation and we don't have the nutritional support that we need. So we really do need this lifelong vitality pack, big time. Everyone needs it. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a clean diet. Yeah, that's right. Really need this. Perfect. Thank you for sharing that. Exactly. Do you know the name of the scientist that came and spoke to you? Was it Nicole? I'm sorry, can you say that again? The name of the doTERRA scientist that came Dr. and spoke Parkin. to you. Is it Nicole? Stevens? Or? Nicole, yes. Yes, she's awesome. Awesome. Yes, sure. she's yes. awesome. Mm -hmm. So guys, yeah, you know, just try this. You never know. Uh, we don't want to promise anything, but uh, you know, it's been amazing.
for all of us that have used it. Um, my husband, my, um, my children are starting to use because they're older now. And uh, my parents, my siblings, they're on it. And um, it's been really good for all of us. And for a lot of people, you know, uh, one of the things that, um, they, that you notice when you're um, taking the Lifelong Vitality Pack, your skin gets brighter, mm -hmm. your hair is silkier, your nails are Pick stronger. Nails. So you know you're getting all the, you know, a lot more yep. nourishment. Yeah. Um, those are like physical symptoms, mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah. symptoms that things are going right <laughs> yeah that's right and you know sometimes we eat healthy like Erin said but if we have a lot of candida and other things in our system we're feeding that those parasites and not us and we can actually be quite um, malnourished even though we're eating right um, so once we clean out all of these unneeded and necessary um, junk in our system suddenly our cells are able to be free to absorb the nutrients. Okay, so that's very important. So we have a link there for just nutritional deficiency symptoms. So if you feel like maybe that might be you, just click on that and have a read and see if that's the case, okay? So it's, it's true that a lot of people think that they have some sort of disease or something's wrong with them. Mm -hmm. And the truth is they're just not getting enough to eat. They're just not getting enough to yeah. eat. Yeah. So uh, a nice demonstration of that is um, for pregnant women. So when we're pregnant, a lot of the nutrients go to the baby and not to the mother, and not as much the mother. Mother gets second best. This is what I learned from Debbie Gordon. Okay, if you have any other questions, you can ask her. <laughs> Anyways, you know our, our gums. Um, you know it can be uh, very sensitive, and our eyesight, and the rest of our body too. So when that happens, that's a nutritional deficiency concern. Um, so if you take lifelong vitality pack and you're suddenly your your body and of course you're eating properly at the same time um, it will be replenished again so for me that's what i think of when i think of nutritional deficiency the body will tell you that um, you don't have enough and uh yeah it's, it's awesome it's just a very simple way of taking good care of yourself because everything is linked to everything and you know when you heal from one thing Suddenly, the rest of your body heals too, and you know you realize that um, all those problems were just nutritional problems. All right. So speaking of nutrition, exercise is important. Um, we need to make time for that exercise because it helps our blood circulate, and the circulation allows the blood to carry the nutrients to all the different parts of your body. So even the extremities don't get um, uh, left out. So I know that uh, when I had um, my uh, lupus in my hands, it was just very uncomfortable. But, you know, I continued to exercise, even though it was uncomfortable. Um, and, you know, it, it's paid off. So that's very important, guys, at least 20 minutes. You need to feel that the blood circulating through your body. Alrighty. Anyone want to share anything or say anything before we move on to the next? Well, I just would like to say that I just got the Vitality Vitamins. Yay. I got those in and I started them, in fact, and I got it not too long ago from work. So I have to take my, I take some before bed and in the morning. I don't know if I'm doing exactly right, but I know it said twice a day. That's so good. I'm taking those. Yeah, those vitamins. And I have been, I think, let me see, I'm on day one, two, I think four days now. And i um, feeling good and I'm looking, you know, forward to positive results. It's something that I needed to, probably needed to do. I know I needed to do for a while. So awesome. I got them in and I'm very excited about them. And I'm taking the other uh, supplements as well, like the Digest the, the um, Terrazyme and the uh, Biotic and uh, what I have I also added Deep Blue because I work very long hours so so far so good I'm I'm still standing as I said I'm gonna be the last man standing because at work you get a lot of complaints about back aches body aches this ache you know the, the headaches and all of that but I actually am not looking forward to experiencing any of it. It tried, you know, when I first started, it tried, but uh, through the classes, you know, that the plantar fasciitis thing tried to come on me, I think, and I started using marjoram, <laughs> like you said, and uh, that went away, I used it on my shoulders, that went away. 
So nothing sticks. These oils work. These products are great. And I'm just, I just look forward to experiencing more and more and more. So I'm very excited about my uh, Vitality Pack that came last week. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that, Peaches. That's awesome. You know, yes. I was the same way. I just feel like I didn't have energy. And at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I felt like I was done. And I wished all the kids would just take a nap and, you know, turn off, off their buttons and so they can just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what is the off button you guys That's uh, it. <laughs> I'm so excited because now um even though it's late i still have a lot of energy and i remembered um you know there's times that uh, you know 11 o'clock i had so much energy I had to go for a run because i just needed to burn off that extra energy um and it's you know so different to how it used to be you know, just mm -hmm. really tired and and just down all the time and here, here is just a complete new um, take on life so this is really good I really appreciate you sharing that because that was you know something that really helped me no problem um, so when I first started I used to use a lot of oils for symptom management and of course you know when Debbie Gordon says hey you try the supplements I mean that was the game changer for me I really appreciated that Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys. The second thing we want to look towards is um, to support our body um, is understanding emotional healing. Um, so with this here, uh, arthritis is about feeling unloved. It's supposed to be emotional. <laughs> um, feeling unloved, um, just criticism, resentment, and judgment. All right. Uh, it's it's interesting, but I can see that um, we have um, you know accumulated a lot of generational thinking and bad habits, uh, bad thinking patterns. So if we choose to think differently and focus on self love, things will shift, and we will no longer need to use um, the oils uh, and other you know uh, drugs to manage symptoms uh, because you know we allow ourselves to fully function. Because what's happening is when we have this emotion inside, it's sort of like this um, energy that's stuck in there that's interfering with our body's full um, healthy flow, if that uh, makes any sense. Okay, so when we create new thoughts, we can say things like, I am loved, I choose to love and approve of myself, and I see others with love. Because anytime we, we beat ourselves up, we criticize ourselves, we judge ourselves, um, we have a tendency to do the same for other people. So once you release that, you won't even feel the anxiety of perhaps other people, you know, criticizing you or judging you or resenting you. So it's beautiful just to allow yourself to feel God's love for you and then just feel that peace and release from any of the anxiety. So arthritis is, um, you know, I want to tell you that a lot of that problem is a fungus problem. And uh, I don't know if you were on the call a few weeks, months, I don't know, back when I was talking about inflammation. Um, we have this fungus in our system sometimes that we've invited, unfortunately. And um, fungus is a moving, changing target. Okay, and it's very difficult for our body to find. But what fungus really represents is us eat, you know, eating ourselves up. Okay, and just thinking negative thoughts about ourselves. We, we in school, as a school teacher, I know this, if I've done something wrong, we you know, point it out and say, oh, no, no. And as an adult, we do this naturally to ourselves if we don't do things that are right. Um, and we mess up, we just beat ourselves up so much that we're so raw inside. And so our energy is not able to repel um, and fight against these funguses. So we actually invite them in. Okay, so if we can just release that and feel happy and strong, um, because we have this wonderful self-love. And guys, you know, this is a work in progress. We can't just you know, think of it and, and adopt it right away. But we can slowly adopt it. Um, you know, we have less of this inflammatory problem, okay? And I found that to be very true. And of course, not only that, but you find more happiness, more peace, and just more courage and uh, confidence in yourself. Um, so this is a bit deep, but uh, does anybody have any um, anything to share about that, about the emotional 
healing of arthritis? Hello, Debbie. Okay, did I make sense? Anybody with questions? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have a question about that, but maybe it's related. I'm not sure. I have a friend who has MS, and it manifests as an intense burning nerve pain. One second, Debbie, can you speak up? I'm sorry. Maybe I don't have my... There, is that better? Uh-huh, yep. Okay. So I have a friend, I don't know if this is related to arthritis, but it just made me think about her. She has um, MS, and she it manifests in her as an intense, like, nerve burning like like she's burning from the inside and it's been really 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 bad lately and everything that you're saying right here about self-love and about um being judgmental of herself she experiences that a lot mm -hmm. yeah we have a few blends for you here to help with that that's good debbie i think that's very relevant that this might help her. So guys, um, we have some oils to help manage the, the symptoms in between while, while we heal, while we feed ourselves, okay? Um, but I can, let me go back to self-judgment for a minute there. Um, one thing that really helps me, okay, is when I feel that coming up and I, I feel tempted to say, oh, Jay, come on, you know, I think of myself as, look, who do you think you are taking over God's job? Because you're still in the middle of this journey and you're thinking, right, that's it, you're, you're done for, you know? <laughs> so I'm thinking, dude, don't condemn yourself so quickly and so early because of fear. So that helps me stop and go, okay, give myself another chance to try this out and, you know, do this again. And, you know, it's just feeling much better. So I know that I've come a long way because my body's no longer hurting in that same way. I can, you know, run, I can lift, I can do stuff now. And so that's one way for you to gauge how well you're doing. Okay. And then of course there's still lots of room to grow, I'm not walking on water yet. So still got stuff to do, right? <laughs> but um, that's one place that we need to start um, and uh, feeling the love of Christ and love of God in our life and allowing uh, ourselves to love ourselves the same way is very important. Okay, so here are the symptom uh, managing blends. So we have two blends, but there's plenty, guys. You have your deep blue polyphenol, you have your deep blue oil, you have um, any of the true oils, fantastic. But I just found that these two blends, um, I, I've used other blends for other people and it's worked fantastic too. But, um, you know, I want to share with you some of the Dr. Lawton's um, blends here. So we have equal parts of oregano. It's a warm oil, cypress, white fur with fractionated coconut oil. Mix up as much fractionated coconut oil as you want to. But you can see that oregano is a warm oil, but it also helps um, a fight against environmental threats in our body. Okay, and environmental threats are fungus and other things. Cypress helps with circulation. White fur is another tree oil, which is so good for our joints and our muscles. Um, so you can massage that in those areas, but do it uh, you know, two to three times a day at least. And then you, you have an affirmation here or a new mental script to, to use, you know, because we, we talk to ourselves all the time anyways, whether we're aware or not. So now if we're conscious about what we're thinking, we can say, I am moving each day to a more comfortable place. I enjoy more flexibility in my attitudes about self and others. Okay, something like that. You don't have to use this. Use your own words if you have to. Um, but uh, something about more self-acceptance about flexibility about being comfortable with yourself all right so blend number two is um, 
six drops of aroma chamomile, four drops of helichrysum, okay, four drops of patchouli, three drops of coriander, and two drops of black pepper. And this is an exciting blend too. Um, and mix all that with fractionated coconut oil. Again, mix it in a separate container and um, just use that on your system, on your body, as often as you can um, in between. So you can say something like, I am choosing to feel better instead of bitter. Okay, I am finishing what I have started with enthusiasm. So this is another way of just uh, helping our mind and our body and our, um, our spirits. Okay. So for infectious arthritic um, concerns, we have three drops of oregano, uh, three drops of cassia, three drops of on guard, and you can do that in a capsule for three weeks. Okay, then um, three drops of oregano, three drops of cinnamon, three drops of on guard for the next three weeks. And then see so these two blends, you do it interchangeably, but the second, um, the second round, you do it for two weeks, and then the third round, you do it for one week, okay? And of course, we reduce um, the white sugars and wheat, and then we also try to do the 30-day cleanse along with this too. So, you know, I've listed some of the infectious arthritic concerns. This will help support your body, um, and your body will help you, you know, repair from some of these concerns. And of course, if you can do or um, receive the aroma touch massage um, the technique, this is going to be awesome because it helps encourage homeostasis. Okay, and the combination of oils is just great for a relief. So if anybody has um, some uh, pains, you can go ahead and offer them the aroma touch technique too. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to pause here. Anyone want to say anything? I'll tell you that um, there's definitely a relationship with emotional and this as well as like your digestive and all that stuff. Um, when we were going to all these specialists to try to find out what was wrong, the, each one of them told us that expect her to be depressed or, you know, feeling um, all these different things. And they said that that always happens with children or people that are fight, you know, facing this. And so I don't think they realize that it has anything to do with that building up, but we went to several and each one of them did tell us that. And then we did have to, um, you know, um, deal with emotional things as well. So I can say it was a scary time for us, but um, we just stuck to it and did it. And um, my daughter no longer deals with that. But then even I, thought I had no I didn't go to a doctor they all said I was too young for arthritis but my feet and my neck were always hurting and I just figured it was because I danced for so long and did these things but um with helping my daughter I kind of did myself and I have like no pain at all so I'm with I'm the same thing as peaches like it does work it doesn't matter if you say plantar you know it doesn't matter what it is where it is um, just use the oils and try and do the cleanse, um, watch what you eat, and you'll notice that you just start feeling better and you can overcome this, and so can anyone that you know. So, Well, awesome. Thank you so much, Stacey. Yeah, that story with your daughter was awesome. You know, I remember how worried everybody was, you know. Um, so Stacey's mom is my friend here, and she lives here in Destin, Florida, and uh, yeah, I heard all about it. We were so worried, but it was a very short time, if we think about it, uh, relatively to any sort of disease or problem. Um, and she's found some solutions, so that's awesome. So thank you. That was uh, life-changing, wasn't it, Stacey? Yeah. So in conclusion, guys, we have hope. Um, there's, you know, arthritis is very common, actually, and it comes in many forms. But don't let, um, don't let the sophistication of that word um, scare you because there's a lot of things that you can do to cleanse yourselves 
to repair your cells and help your cells balance and then you feed your cells of course and then just manage those emotions but at the end of it all the main emotion that we want to achieve is um, a healthy self-love okay um, but in the meantime there's plenty of oils that you can start using to to manage the symptoms and to help you um, support you as you go along and uh, and find uh, solutions and can feed your cells and allow your body to to do the repair so that's all i have to say tonight about this topic um you know you guys are welcome to um, ask questions or make comments or share stories um yeah and if you're watching this in the future and you have other questions or anything yeah you just post a comment down yes, here on the post do. That's jbaldwin.com slash arthritis for the people who are listening to this. Mm -hmm. And we read all those comments and answer them. All. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm thinking about my aunt. Um, I have two aunties that have um, the same problems. Uh, they were diagnosed with lupus. And my auntie she said that um, her knee had it really bad, that it was swollen, and she said it looked like a big you know basketball and it was horrible and she was on a lot of medications and I, I told her I said do you want to try some nat natural remedies and she said yes um, and I think she bought 400 500 dollars worth of oils the first month and again that much the second month and she loved it loved it loved it and I introduced it to the lifelong vitality pack and I think it was only one year and when she went back to the doctors to review and reduce her medications, um, the doctor said she has hardly any signs of lupus anymore. So um, essentially she helped herself heal. And that was awesome. Um, I have another auntie that uh, she was just too nervous. And to this day, after seven years, she's still taking medications and she's still suffering. And, you know, we're like, look, this other one, she's fine. But anyways, um, some people, they have to go through and feel, feel more courage to, um, to make some changes. So, you know, we'll, we'll be patient with her. We'll help her out when she wants to be helped. But I see the difference in my two aunties and I'm really appreciative of, of the lessons that they've taught me about um, how they have supported themselves too through this journey. I can say that um, the, the, doc, the medicine that they were giving for my daughter, it never did work. And so this is right when we came to know about oils and like, we called you like, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm crying and all, but we went back to my, to, we had to keep on going to her doctor because it was just changing at first. But um, we are blessed that we have doctors that asked what we were doing. We gave them the deep blue, we showed it to them and they were just like, okay, you know, the medicine's not working. It would process through her liver. We have to worry about her liver. This is natural. It's not going to hurt her. This is the answer. Just do it. And that was all they said. I was really shocked. And then um, we had to follow up and we had to follow up like month, you know, a few different months. And um, they really took note of it. And they said, you know, we're actually going to tell our other patients this because they're up to, you know, she was up to five pills a day. They were up to three. And you can only do that for so long when something's going through your liver that's damaging to it. So um, they just, saw it, looked at the ingredients and couldn't believe it. And they said, you know, you don't have to worry about anything beyond unhealthy on this. So use this for her. Is it working? I said, yes. And they're just like, use it. Um, and that was eye opening as well, because here's the doctors and here's the specialist. And this is what they came up with. Go ahead and use your essential oils. So what does that say? <laughs> That's awesome, Stacy. And Stacy's like the girl that talks to the doctors and the dentists and things. <laughs> this is awesome. She doesn't stop sharing, so that's wonderful. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Anybody else want to share? Alrighty, so we'll stop sharing this screen here um, and we'll stop our recording. Uh, so if you guys have any questions and concerns, we can, can stay on and chat. Yes, thank you everybody. Thank for you for joining us. And sharing.